Good morning, it's Joycelyn with Love, Passion, and Happiness. And today, I'm gonna talk about one of the phrases that um, I enjoy, but it also has proven to be very limiting to me, um, or limiting for me, and it's the phrase of, I want. So, one of the things that I, that we all have a tendency to do is to tell other people what we want. I want this, I want this, I want a man who this, I want a woman who this. We can put those limiting guidelines on people and what we want from them. Now, it's fine to use I want when you're talking about yourself because when you're talking about self and things that you want, you're the one that's responsible for making it happen. You're the one for making sure that you're able to do it. You're the one that's working for it, right? So if you say, I want to take a trip around the world, that's on you. But when you start saying, I want to take a trip around the world with someone, now you're putting limits or guidelines on what you want someone to do for you, right? So I always have to try to remind myself that the only person I have control over for once is myself. When I start putting those restrictions on other people or those um, expectations on other people, I still found, find myself wanting something else. So if I told someone I wanted a purse, like, what do you want for your birthday? I want a purse. Or I want to go to the movie, right? Well, you can do those things with someone, but then you still find yourself wanting after that. So it's not just I want to go to a movie. It's I want to go to a movie and I want to enjoy the movie with you. So it's always something else. There's not a just wanting it isn't enough. It's still requiring an action from someone else. So one of the things that I remind myself when I'm talking about wants is my want doesn't constitute an action from somebody else. My want is my want. So if I want to see someone, it's not I want to see you, when are you coming? It's I want to see you, what actions do I need to take to get to you, to make it a, um, a fair experience for both of us, right, or all of us. So we usually want something and then we want somebody else to make it happen it's not healthy and it's not satisfying if you want something then you want it and you get it for yourself you know me i'm always talking about self the things i want to do are the things that i want to do i want to build my youtube subscribers to a thousand i want to do that that's important to me so i can't expect people around me, immediately around me that I interact with to do it for me. I could want them to help me, but it's not their responsibility to get me to a thousand if that's what my goal is. That's my goal. I want to do it. So then I have to explore different avenues of getting there. So I just wanted to talk about that quickly because I know that that's very limiting on you and it's also limiting on the people that you're asking that you're making these requests of <clears throat> I remember one time when I was dating and I had a whole laundry list of things I wanted from the part my partner and the person I dated I wanted him to be this 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 I had like a checklist of things I wanted from another person First of all, that's arrogant as hell to think that I know enough about somebody or even enough about myself to say what I want from somebody else. The universe is too big for that and my my media, my understanding is pales in comparison to what exists in the universe, right? But I did have a list. I wanted him to have this amount of money. I wanted him to be this height. I wanted, well, I could have all those things and check those things off. And then it would be something that just made me go, uh, he could be messy and not clean up after himself. He could be, not handle his money well. He could not have any teeth. He could not bathe regularly. So all of those little things would show up and I would sit there and think, I've literally made a list of things I wanted from a person and I'm still disappointed. Even after everything on the list has been checked off, I'm still disappointed, right? So I stopped making a list and I started just meeting people. And I've talked about this before. Meet people as they are, get to know them, 
And then you can decide in the process if this is someone that you want to see again, if this is somebody you want to be in a relationship with, if this is somebody that you just want to hang out with and be friends. That's fair on both sides, right? Because we can't force somebody into our list, our tiny list of wants, right? So I just, you know, that was just pressing for me to talk about because I want to make sure that we're all aware if you want something, you have to make it happen. You make it happen. No one else can make it happen for you. If you literally want to do something, if you want something for yourself, if you want to be on your path to being of purpose, you have to find the ways to get there without making a list of things for people to do. That's the best way to push people away from you. It's the best way to make sure that you're not happy. It's the best way to make sure that you're not satisfied because your wants are only going to be based on what your experiences are with yourself, right? I always say, I love to travel. I love to travel. Every chance I get, I'm traveling. I'm not dating, hands down. I can't date someone that doesn't like to travel. I can't because I don't want to have a conversation about why I'm doing something or trying to explain away the reasons that I love or I enjoy or I can't wait until. I don't want to explain away something that's in of me. But we do that because we end up dating and being around people and building relationships with people who don't have our likes and they try to put us in a box. Well, I'm dating someone that doesn't like to fly. You know what that means? I don't fly anywhere because they're not gonna go and I wanna share it with them. That's me limiting myself to a space where someone else is existing. You don't do that. Your space is your space. You create it, you make it what you want what you want not what you want for somebody else that is the key to all of this you're going to be on a path to being of god's purpose to being of purpose into the universe you have to be aware of you in all aspects of who you are and what your capabilities are not on what someone else is allowing you to do based on the way they want to share with you right so your wants are yours and your wants do not your wants are not indicative of action on somebody else no, your want is your want. Your want literally has nothing to do with someone else. It's your want. I hope you subscribe to the channel already. It's love, passion, and happiness. See you next time. Mwah.